Okay, good afternoon. It's the, uh, the 3rd of November. And it's a really nice day out. Uh, so I'm just going to do a year-end wrap-up on the Grizzly. Uh, nothing's going to be in order. Uh, it's just kind of a general talk about uh, my Grizzly. These are the reviews that everybody kind of likes to hear. I mean, it's nice to watch all the riding videos and, and all that kind of stuff and what we do. But, um, you know, a lot of people are just interested in, in uh, the performance of the Grizzly and any problems with it. And uh, so that's what I'm just going to talk about. And uh, you can see that I've got a brand new toy installed. It's a it's a 60 inch uh, worn Pro Vantage uh, plow. I haven't even used it yet. It hasn't snowed. I just had it put on um, uh, a couple weeks ago. So that's a new toy for me. And I'm looking forward to using that. I don't have any uh, any kind of thing to say about it right now, other than it's uh, very easy to install. I've got the the front mount system. So there's a bracket that goes right there and the same thing on that side and the plow just goes on by a couple of pins so I mean you lift the plow up it ho you hook it in uh, on each side on the right in there this slips in there really easy no problem at all and then you just push the pins through and they have little clips to clip onto little uh, little uh, uh, fingers that stick out the back of those, those brackets and that's all you have to do and then I guess uh, so on some of the older uh, uh, styles there was a, a pulley system, some kind of a plastic pulley system that went down through there and people were having problems and they're broken and everything. Anyway, I've got a steel pulley and it hooks in there. And, and because I've got a, the Grizzly 700 SE, uh, it comes with a larger uh, uh, roller for the winch. I guess apparently that's uh, that's easier on your winch rope and I've still got my, just my, my traditional uh, wire rope on there. So I guess it's apparently it's easier because it's the larger one and I've got the, the steel pulley so they say it won't break and the other one, only thing I did different from that is that I really didn't like they had a strap that went you're supposed to hook that up and hook it up onto your top racks and everything which I really didn't like to do I mean these things are uh, the, the racks are rated at um, uh, I think it's 98 pounds and I mean that that plow I mean I'm guesstimating but it, I mean it feels like it's at least about 150 pounds it's a heavy heavy metal uh, plow. So I'm, I'm guessing it's got to be 150 pounds. I mean, all, all the weight obviously isn't going up on the racks. It's probably 50%, but anyway, it just seemed like a lot of stress to, to uh, uh, wire uh, or to, to wrap a strap around your racks up there, hang it down in the winch. It would hook the winch on right in this area here and uh, uh, do it that way. So I, I just, wrapped a smaller strap, an actual strap around the lower bumper there and did it this way. So I don't get as much lift as I did uh, before when it was up higher on the racks, but uh, it's plenty high enough. I mean, it lifts it a good foot, foot and a half off the ground and that's that's all you need. So anyway, as that, uh, I'll do another video on that once in winter, once I start using it and learn how to use it and all that. I've, I've, <laughs> I've got a 20 car driveway here, wraps all the way around here. And, uh, there's my woodshed, by the way, 20 quarter, 20 face quarter wood, and out there. So I've got I've got 20 uh, 20 car driveway, and I've been doing it by hand for the last six years, which I like, and I'm going to continue doing it many times by hand. But uh, you know, it, it'll be nice sometimes to do it with the um, with the plow, and it's going to be a new new toy, something something fun to do over the winter. So anyway, we'll do a quick little walk around first on the grizzly. I've got her all spit shined up and polished. Uh, you know, I use, you can use any of the spray waxes. So, I mean, af after a ride, uh, I take it to, to the car wash and I just, um, I do a quick, uh, get the heavy mud off with a, with the sprayer, um, just from a distance. I don't get right in and blast it. I just get all the heavy mud off it, uh, from a distance out. So I don't, I don't peel off any of the decals or anything like that. Then I get it home and I give it a really good, um, uh, hand wash with a, you know, bucket soap in the garden hose. And I get into all the nooks and crannies and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, oh, here's my, here's Nika. She wants in on the action, too. There you go. There's a treat. Hey, hot girl. Uh, so then I give it a good hand wash and then a, a spray wax. And, you, you know, I, I, I use Lucas. You can use Mothers, any of them, you know, the Armor All, any of the, any good spray wax. Uh, it makes them shine really good. Um, a little bit of a little bit of SC1 on this stuff here really bring, makes it black. Uh, the, the spray waxes don't get it really black, but I mean, that SC1 stuff 
uh, really can get bring the black back. And a bit of Lucas uh, tire shine on the tires brings it makes the tire shine really good. You can you can you can spray the uh, the Lucas stuff anywhere. And same with the, the SDC one. I mean, it'll just make anything shine anywhere. Really good on your uh, on your CVT cover. Makes it really nice and black. So as far as the uh, as the finish, I mean, I really like this color. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that it isn't scratched up at all um, because you know I'm in any of the videos if you watch I mean I do go through a lot of tight trails I am scratching uh, through some brush and stuff not I, I'm not um, eccentric about it or anything like that but you know we get into some some tight brush and I, I brush through a lot of, uh, of tight areas and I mean the only there's not a scratch on it anywhere except in this area right in here and that's just probably from when my boot hits when I'm getting off and on but other than that there's not a scratch on it anywhere uh, that I've ever seen so I'm uh, pretty surprised at that because I thought the black would show some more scratches but uh, nothing at all so that's good um, no problems at all with with uh, with the Grizzlies nothing at all no no glitches uh, I've got uh, just over 1200 kilometers on it so I did the initial oil change at uh, around, it was like 250, 250 kilometers. I had, had to, took it back to the dealership and they did that. So they did an oil change, it's just a change of diffs. Then I just did a um, uh, another uh, oil change at uh, 1,000 myself. And I put ANS oil, a zero weight 40 in uh, full synthetic oil. And that's what I'm gonna use from now on. And of course a, a Yamaha filter. And I also did the uh, the diffs front and rear with the Yama, Yama Lube uh, gear oil, 80 weight 90 stuff. Uh, but I mean, you could use any, you could use the Castrol stuff. You get it at Napa or Canadian Tire or, you know, any, uh, any, uh, good gear oil, 80 weight, 90, if that's what you want. Uh, you really should, I would highly recommend if, if, if doing that stuff yourself too. I mean, there's no reason anybody can't, uh, do your oil changes and your diff changes, uh, your, on your own. And another thing I hi would, would highly recommend is take off your skid plates. I mean, it takes five minutes. Once you do it once, you'll learn it. It's just a few 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, you can drop them in, in five or 10 minutes after you learn the first time. Really easy to do. And then same with the A-arm guards. I've got my A-arm guards off right now, as you can see, front and rear. The front is just one eight millimeter bolt and it pops right off on each side. And on the backs, there's two eight, meter, eight millimeter bolts, bolts and then a four millimeter uh, hex screw that you have to take. You have to take the rear wheels off uh, when you're taking the, uh, the A-arm guards off at the back. The reason I take them off, I'm taking them off for the winter is because I'm going to be using this in the winter for plowing. So I don't want snow to build up there and, you know, I, I store it, it'll be stored in an unheated um, uh, garage. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's attached to the house, but I mean... You know, if it, it gets snow built up in there, you know, overnight on a, you know, 30 below night, it, uh, it you know, it'll just like f turn into ice and it might, <laughs> it might be there till the spring. So uh, I take those off and I'll clean that out really good after each, each use. I have the skid plates back on it right now, but you could even leave them off for the winter too, but I put mine back on. All right, so uh, what else? Uh, my flat that I had on this tire, it, uh, the, the plug that they put on uh, is holding up good. It uh, hasn't lost a, any pressure at all. So uh, that, they did a good job on, on, on that. Uh, something else I'll say is, is I tried playing around with the, uh, um, the, the shock settings, the preload uh, settings on the shocks to maybe get a smoother, bit of a smoother, uh, less stiff ride. and. I mean, I, I tried putting them up stiffer. I put them right down to the low position. You know, I tried a couple of different co combinations, front and rear. It, it didn't seem to make any difference at all to me. Uh, but no, that's not a biggie, uh, you know. Uh, that's, that's not a big deal for me. It, uh, it rides just fine. I mean, I, I'm really, uh, really happy with the vehicle. That's my third Grizzly. I had a 2014 um, SE, uh, Tactical Black. And I'll put a picture up there for you. And, uh, and then I had a 2016 EPS in the forest green. Uh, as far as, um, you know, differences between them, I mean, 
one thing i mean they all basically had got the same fuel mileage i mean it, I, i've calculated it uh i started with a, a full tank of fuel on each ride uh, i do this you know the first few rides for each each machine i get uh, and then when I, I finish the ride, let's say I put, you know, 85 kilometers on it, that, that ride, I go home, I fill it. If I took, uh, you know, you know, nine, 9.3 liters to fill it, I'd divide that into the 85. That comes with my, my, uh, um, number of liters. And I just multiply that by the size of the tank. And that gives me my range. And it's consistently coming out to like 160 plus. So, and it was like that on on uh, my 2014 and my 2016 also so these things get very very good fuel mileage so that's going to be just kind of a wrap up uh for the grizzly for this year i'll do something over the winter once I, once i start plowing i'll give you give you a little review on how the the worn uh plow pro advantage, pro advantage uh, plow works but it's going to be good uh you know, what's new to me is that, uh, you know, it's nice to have a plow, but you have to have somewhere to put it, <laughs> all the snow. Because, I mean, we're in a snow belt here, and we get, I mean, there's my woodshed. And that, I'm honest, like the snow banks that I push normally, I push back in there 20 feet off to the sides. I mean, they're 7 and 8 feet high by kind of like, you know, late January into February. By the time we have so much snow here, it's just incredible. Uh, but it's good, it's nice, good exercise, good workout shoveling. So, anyway, everybody have a happy uh, winter, and uh, we'll catch you in the spring. Take care.